Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So in this video, I'm actually going to try to add um, a feature to an application that I'm trying to build with my Discord community. And basically what this application is, it's a way for people who are kind of new to the YouTube scene for developers and tech to just go to one place to find like where all the different developers are, right? So there's a, a couple of developers on YouTube, maybe like 100 or 300. And it's kind of hard when you're first starting off to figure out like which ones you want to subscribe to and which ones they are because the YouTube algorithm is only going to kind of suggest some of the most popular to you. And you kind of have to dig through the weeds to find the ones you really want. So the idea was to build an application using Next.js and whatever else we might need to basically have a hard-coded list of like YouTubers that we can just filter through and try to find their videos and find videos that are kind of like matching our needs. So for example, if you want to find something for like Vuex, you could type in Vue X and that would kind of filter down all the videos from the dev community, which works on Vue X. And you can also kind of filter it down to be like short videos, medium videos, long videos, or only videos in the last three months, etc. Is there a purpose to this application? Uh, probably not, but it's a good learning experience. So if you guys are interested in contributing to this, there is a Git repo here called Cody Cyber slash DevTubers, where I created a couple of issues and you can come in and just leave a comment if you want to try to work on one of them and just learn how to do like a fork basically you need to fork my repo check out a branch add your feature and then when you're done with your feature you can create a pull request back to this repo and i can kind of approve it or disapprove it or leave comments and stuff like that so this will probably be a good learning experience if you're new to working with other developers this is a really simple project and i think it should be a little bit of fun just to kind of see what we can build out of it. Maybe we can keep adding features or add animations and stuff like that. So I think there will always be opportunities to learn new things if you're new to Next or React or CSS, HTML. And everyone's welcome, but just know that if you grab an issue and it takes you like a week to even make any progress on it, um, don't, don't get upset if I just implement it for you because I actually want to build this application out. I don't want you to come and grab a task and then it takes you a month to finish it. So... Just be serious if you actually want to contribute. Yeah, so let me give an overview of this project. So I first of all, I went to program with Eric. So this is a great YouTuber you should check out. He does a lot of view stuff. But anyway, I think he has a Git repo um, where he has basically a list here, dev YouTube list of a bunch of different YouTubers. So you can come here, you can kind of Click on them and check out their channel and subscribe. But the issue with this list is you really don't know like the content they produce, right? So I mean like software entertainment, right? You can just get an overview of what they what their name is and their channel, um, what what the idea of what the channel is. But it's hard to see like what keywords do they actually focus on, you know? So you have to kind of click through every single one, figure out if you actually want to subscribe to them or listen to their content. And I think there's probably a better way we can do this. So what I decided to do was I basically took this readme file, I took the raw output of the first like 350 channels and then I came over to the project that we're going to be working on and I created a folder called downloader so what the downloader does is it has a script called git channel info and it also has the list of channels so let me just go ahead and show you this I have a list of all those channels here and we have a bash script over here which basically loops through every line in that does some regex to get the, the UID or the, the unique ID of the channel or the user. And then for each one, it calls a node process called get channel info. Let me go ahead and open that one. So this script basically uses a third party load node library I found, which I believe is called um, YT channel info. And this is basically a package that you can provide it a user ID or a channel ID it'll give you some information back. So in this case, we have a function called get channel videos and that'll return an array of all the videos that are on the channel. I think it limits to like 20 or 30, but we're just gonna do 20 videos for right now uh, or whatever the, the pagination gives back. And then also there's a function for getting the channel info. So that's like getting the description of the channel, uh, the channel URL, channel ID, the author banner, thumbnails and stuff like that. So we're gonna be using all this information to basically write out a uh, some JSON files. So if we look at the metadata folder, you'll notice here that there's a ton of different JSON files. And if I open one up, it has basically the last like 30 or 20 videos on their channel. And that information is also combined with the 
the channel information. So you notice here the video has like author banner, author thumbnail, the author URL, stuff like that. And so the idea is I wrote another script to take all of these JSON files and aggregate them together. So if you look here, there's an aggregate node script. And this one, it basically reads in all the files in the metadata folder and it combines them all into a single uh, JSON object. So after you run this, it basically does some logic to combine them all into a JSON object here and puts them into a channels.json file. Uh, by the way, be careful running both of the, this script because YouTube might block your IP if you're doing a ton of requests against their uh, backend, which I've actually seen because I think we were watching YouTube on our TV and it like blocked our TV and we had to like prove that we weren't a robot and do the whole capture thing. So just be careful running this on your machine because you might get blacklisted. Or do it in a VPN or maybe remove, do it in like a sleep or something, add a sleep to this or something. But there's a lot of channels so it takes a while to run. But anyway, so that creates this JSON, channels.json file, which you can see here we have every tech YouTuber, uh, our dev YouTuber I want to call them, and inside of them it has like all their videos. So that is the content we're going to be using in our Next.js application. Since we're using Jamstack, we are going to basically take that JSON and we are going to use it to display our pages. So if you notice here, if I go to my index, I actually import that channels JSON. And that is where I have a bunch of logic to basically filter through channels based on descriptions and tags and stuff. So let me show you the current app. Okay, so this is the current application. It's really basic. I worked on this like an hour or two just to get something showing up. So what you can do is you can click on tags down here. So if I wanted to, I can click on, let's see. Let's just click on 3D. So it's really slow right now, but when you click on 3D, it's going to filter out all the channels that deal with 3D. Um, all right, so this one is what is 3D photography. It's, it's really basic. I need to work on this more, but you can click on different tags or keywords that are in the titles and have it filtered down to show you the channels that have videos related to those keywords, if that makes sense. And then you can kind of like look through the last 20 or 30 videos of that channel to see if there's anything interesting that you want to watch. But the idea is, I can also like type in something specific here. So I type Vuex. Notice that there's only four channels that did Vuex, Vuex content in the last like X amount of days. Kind of want to check out Coding with Justin. He seems like he has some pretty nice looking thumbnails. I'm sure he makes good content. Um, I love Coding Garden. He's like one of my favorite. He's my inspiration. Notice how he has like the green screen growing on. I like watching his stuff. It's fun. But yeah, so that is what we have now. These things don't do anything. But the idea is we want to take this application and kind of refactor it to look a little bit more like this. Okay, so what we could have, I'll give you an overview, is we have on the left some, some main navigation where you can either click channels or videos. And if you click on channels, I think I have this one on the wrong one. Let me move this up. But basically, if you click on channels, it's going to list out all those 300 whatever channels here. And you can filter down based on substring. So if I typed in junkie, that would return probably one or two channels that have junkie in the name. I could type in like web dev and that might give back web dev simplified. It might give back my channel. It might also give back a channel called web dev, which is also a good channel you should check out. It's called web dev. Basically, we can show, show all the channels. You click on the channel and that'll show you all the videos on that channel and have a link to their YouTube. So if you click this link here, it will probably open up a new tab and go to directly to their YouTube channel. I want to add like a subscribe button and a link to their Discord if they have one, but that could be features that we add later on. And I also kind of want to add like a description of what their channel is maybe and restyle the videos. But one thing you'll notice is that I don't care about showing the views or the subscribers or whatever. I don't want people to like be dissuaded from viewing a channel because they don't have many subscribers or they don't have many views on a video. Um, just to help the, the underdog kind of grow at a faster rate, you know? All right, so once you click on one of these video icons or elements, that is gonna pull up a side navigation here. I'm calling it watch history, but basically it's a panel that has a, a stack of all the videos that you clicked with the latest being at the top and oldest being at the bottom. And you can kind of go through and this is going to be like an embedded YouTube player. So you can watch the video here inside your watch history panel, or you could just click it and open up a new tab to go directly to YouTube if you want. And if you click on this link here, the web junkie link, that'll close the panel and just show the channel like this. And then 
if we, let me also move this one up because that's like channel view. Doing some cleanup. This is Figma, by the way. This is a, a design tool you can use to basically um, kind of design your web page and show it to others. Here's an about page. The last two things I'm going to kind of show is you have the videos page where you can basically filter. I kind of talked about this already, but instead of showing the, the channels, just show videos that match keywords that you put in and also match like a, a length or a age. And that's mainly because we don't want to watch a UX tutorial that's from four years ago. We more care about watching one that was recent because these packages and libraries update very often. So you want to watch the latest and greatest, in my opinion. Um, but there are some really good ones that still can be relevant, even if they're like a year or two old. And then this is like kind of the last page is a submit channel. So this is just going to be a form you fill out with the YouTube channel URL. That's going to send me an email to my email account. And I can basically update my data from that script that we saw. I can go here and manually update that. We could try to automate that and add like a backend or something. But I think starting off, the simpler you keep things, the easier it is to grow. Um, it's going to get more complex if you have to manage a database. Like, you use like Firestore or some type of hosted Mongo server. And then you have to have like a backend to have your REST API. Just a lot of extra work just to be able to dynamically update some URLs. So, what I'd rather have people do is just submit a URL, it sends me an email, and then I can use something like formsubmit.com to basically have that directly post this URL to my email. Yeah, and so another big reason for this is I'm trying to just get better at design and figure about myself. So, I don't think this design looks bad, but it, I don't think it's the greatest right now. So this is kind of like the first iteration, the first draft. I think we're going to try to improve it as time goes on. And uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. So if you have suggestions of how I can improve my styling, like let me know, leave a comment or, you know, give me like a design or something. This is like the design I kind of went with. I found an image online and the color scheme looked pretty nice. So I'm just kind of following that. You can see here I'm using those colors. And that's about it. So yeah, that's basically the overview of this dev tubers project I'm going to try to work on and maybe make a couple of videos along the way just to show you how I'm implementing it and how I'm adding in features. If that's something you're interested in watching, be sure to stick around. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new to this channel and you want to actually keep um, getting updates of how this application is being built. Hopefully we can get it built and deployed like Versal soon and people can start using it. And that maybe we can get like one or two extra contributors working on this project. I could probably get this application created in like a week or two or less, um, depending on how much time I actually have. But I don't think it'd be too hard to do. And I think if you're a beginner, it'd be a great learning experience to contribute to a real project that hopefully people can use for fun. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great day.